A flat top griddle is a great grill to have in your arsenal. I'm going to show you how to properly season this so it can provide you years and years and years of extended fun grilling experiences because I love you guys, seriously, except for you. Grill Sergeant here. I'm going to show you how to properly season it. Let's start the show. Why, why do, what's up with the pointing? Now, when I got the griddle, it said it basically came pre-seasoned, but just due to shipping and stuff like that, I just see a lot of like shipping residue and there's basically marks on here. So what we're gonna do is we're basically gonna give this a thorough clean down and uh, basically start from scratch. So the first thing we're gonna do is basically get a bowl of soapy water. Now, this is the first time and the last time that soap is gonna touch this griddle. So while this flat top griddle is not cast iron, we're pretty much going to treat it like cast iron. So we're basically, we have a bowl of soapy water, and this will be the first time and last time soap ever come in, comes in contact with the griddle. So what we're just, just gonna do is we're just gonna wipe down all areas. We're gonna do the sides. We are going to do behind. We're gonna do the backs. Just basically, you wanna cover the whole thing with soap and water. Now we're gonna take a dry rag, basically dry off. All right, now that we got the surface basically cleaned and dried off, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the propane tank, and we are going to... So both burners are on high right now. We're gonna give this about 10, 15 minutes to come up to temperature, and then we're going to put our first uh, coating of oil on it. So right now we're about 10 minutes in and you're gonna start seeing some discoloration and that's completely normal. Right now I'm looking at a temperature reading and this is, you know, well past 550 right now. So we're gonna give it a few more minutes and then we're gonna start applying our oil. All right, for seasoning, a little safety gear. We want to get some gloves on, a pair of tongs, and a cotton cloth to wipe this down. Yeah, take it from my experience. It really hurts if you don't. All right, it's been 15 minutes and now this griddle top is ready to season. I have grapeseed oil, you could use flaxseed oil, avocado oil, so pretty much what we're gonna do is just start putting some really light thin coats and just taking a cotton cloth and basically just rubbing it in. You don't wanna put too much on, but just, you know, just, just enough to, you know, basically spread it all over. And you'll be surprised, you really don't need a lot of oil for this part. A little oil goes a long way. All right, so we got our first coating on. We're gonna wait about 10, 15 minutes or pretty much when we see this, uh, the smoke from the oil, you know, stop basically smoking. And then what we're gonna do is repeat the process again. We'll do it about three to four times before this thing is basically, you know, fully, fully seasoned in. All right, fourth time, here we go. I kinda feel like a priest, like, I bless you, griddle. May you feed many, many kids with this griddle. Wait, oh, that's kinda weird. So during this process, make sure you stay well hydrated. Cheers. And also, when you're seasoning the griddle, your griddle is going to go from this very, very light gray to a very, very dark uh, brownish gray color. That's when you know it's fully seasoned. Cheers. Well, this concludes seasoning the flat top griddle. I can't wait to try this thing. I will post a link up for the first cook on it, which I'm probably going to do breakfast burritos, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you next time. Grill Sergeant out. Cheers, guys. I got all of my information from Kent with Daddy Dutch Barbecue, so even if this was completely wrong, let's just blame it on him.